Bernard Bassett only has 2% of his original vision, but he says that he enjoys the challenges of learning how to curl. I love it. Um, I'm an well, I've been an athlete all my life, so this is just another sport. And uh, like I said, I always like these, these new things because I could try to figure out a way that would work for me. This team is the first of its kind in the HRM. There are five players, four of which are blind or visually impaired, and the fifth, who acts as a sighted guide to help position players and to sweep. George Horning is the head coach for the team. He says curling is a great way for someone with vision loss to get involved in sports. Well, curling is one of the most fun sports. It's a community sport. It's a, it's a sport where everyone, doesn't matter what, what your disability or your ability is, curling is a sport that is you know, adaptable for everyone. Every curler requires a different level of adaptation based on how much vision they have. Louise Gillis, one of the many organizers of the team, says that there are several strategies that they use to overcome the vision problem. So most of those players go by a sound by tapping on the ice or by calling the person's name and they move towards the, the position at that point. But for all others who are partially sighted, we use what's called a lighter broom and it's got a, a, a light on the end. That shines on the ice and allows the curler to see the, the light and aim at that. And Bernard Bissett says he's already found what works for him. I made a map of the curling, it's, it's a raise, it's tactile, and uh, that way when we are getting into the, the, uh, the curling, the game of it itself, we could have it in front of us and see where the, where the stone, the rocks are, and where we should put our, our rocks, it will be right beside us. The team is just starting out, but they plan to practice once a week and hope to make it to the Canadian Vision Impaired National Curling Championship in Ottawa in February. Chad Allen, Waterfront TV, Lower Sackville.